All right, and this is part four, the final part. All right, so let's head on down the stairs. We have our three levers. Next one right here. And as you can see, things start to get a little spooky up in here. Head on down. Hit the last lever. All right, let's get rid of the three levers so we're not cheating here. It's a little dark, but there are cobwebs here, so let's go through this. I'll just keep on walking. Don't really see what's going on in here. Oh, no. Nah. I'm just kidding. I knew that was going to happen. All right, so... Now that we're walking down, there's absolutely no way to get back up without flying. So we're going to come around here, and here's actually a little cave system we found. There's a bed just in case, so let's walk over here and see what we can We got some armor, and a potion of swiftness. And as you can see, we have a lot of dispensers with a lot of pressure plates. We're going to need the armor. Armor's probably going to be important here. So let's... Put it on. My helmet, my little boobies. Alright, let's drink this potion. Get rid of it. There we go. <gasps> on creative mode, that would have hurt a lot more. <laughs> yeah. Right. So we actually have two potions of regeneration right here now. Just in case anything bad were to happen. We can drink those, even though it's not gonna do anything for me. So we can get rid of those real fast. All right, so now we need to get through this giant lava pit. As you probably know, you can't really swim in the lava. So let's look around here, and there's actually a chest up here with a fire resistance potion. So put that in. We'll drink that up. And we're now actually invincible to fire for the next three minutes. So we can just swim on through, even though it looks like we're burning alive. Then we make it to the next part. And there's actually a sword in here. Sword is actually a... It'll come in handy later, let's just say that. So walk through the door. And as you can see, we actually can't progress here. Unless we solve the hidden volume problem. Now, this one is actually 210. But this one's a little different. You don't actually get a poppy if you lose. If you hit the button, you actually win a sheep. But we don't need a sheep. What we need is a pressure plate. So we get the pressure plate, put it down, get rid of it, and we'll walk on through. You feel like you're going to have a bad time. And we actually meet Banghart, the culprit behind all this. So you finally found me, Math Champion. It's been a long time coming. You've caused me a lot of problems, you know that? Have I really? What was, what was your plan anyways? Well, I've been stealing math knowledge from everyone in the city. You've been bringing it back to them. But if I take you out here now, I'll be the smartest math wizard in the world. Why are you telling me all this? Where is Hightley? It doesn't matter. There is no cure for Lanthan, and you'll never see Hightley again. My work here is done. I already know there is no way I can beat you. So here, take this. As for me, my work here is done. Goodbye, BGSU KM Crane. I'm sure we'll meet again, winky face. I'll stop you. I'll find Hightley. So, he's not going to fight us. We actually just take this button here. I feel like something should go here. I feel like it should be a button. So we'll hit it. And it actually opens that up for us. So if we go this way, we'll find absolutely nothing. So we're going to go down this little pathway I've made. Come on back. Climb all these ladders. Oops. I'm keep climbing the ladders. Come through. One more ladder. If you couldn't tell, that fall put us very deep down. So drop your sword here. So press Q to drop the sword. Goes on down, and it actually hits a pressure plate, which opens up this door. So we keep climbing on up. Go through the trap door, and we are actually back up on that hill where Xerneas is. So while we're here, we might as well just go talk to him, tell him we found who's behind all this. Yes, I have felt a great evil lifted. Some length then we'll have to say as he is. You look more distraught than that, though, young math champion. What troubles you? I, I couldn't find Prince Hightley. That is troublesome, isn't it? Well, maybe the citizens can help you. If you complete the remaining puzzles, 11 through 14, they may give you some information about Hightley. Perhaps Carla could assist in this manner. Yay, more math! Good luck, you math champion. I am sure you will succeed. You can count on me. All right. So now we'll go back to Carla. 
She was the one in the dress that we talked to earlier. Jump on down. Do, do, do. Go back through. And there's Carla sitting down over there. Let's see if she has some new dialogue options for us. And she does. Please go away. Not this one. Oh, what if I don't want... But I need help finding Prince Hightley. Don't you want to help her, your city? Okay, okay, fine. How about this? I'll give you the key to Hightley's room in the castle that I, uh, found. What's the catch? No catch. Just pay. The mandatory key fee of two, I mean five diamonds. It's never easy, is it? So we look at our quest, and we actually have the new quest. Nope, never easy. We have to get the five diamonds by completing problems 11 through 14. Alright, so let's head on over to 11. Now, question 11 is a bit tricky because it actually has two parts to it. The first part is finding the volume of this staircase. So we find it, and the command blocks over here is actually 196. So we hit it, and we get our first diamond. So part two actually is down here. And I don't need this egg. You're going to go through this door and find the volume of this room. second room. And we have Doc. Well, hello there, Traveler. Hello, Doc. Nice to meet you. Likewise. Now, my dear child, what are you doing in the future? By my pocket watch, we are in the year 2023. I want to travel. Doc, take me with you. Great, Scott. You must stay here and solve the great mystery. A cruel spell has been cast on the king of this world, and you have to save him. The future depends on you. Now leave. I must figure out how to this flux capacitor of mine up to full speed again. Take care, and so long. Wait, Doc. Am I in the prophecy? Yes, my good fellow, you are. Now off with you. Thanks, Doc, and happy travels. All right. So, now we're going to find the volume of this little pumpkin room. Which is 64. So we hit that, and we have two diamonds now. So we keep on walking through. Let's go back up. And back up the slider. And we go back over here to number 12. All right. Number 12 is actually this trippy square here. Students only have to find the area of this purple square, so the only the outermost cube here. Click on it. And that's going to be 176. So we have 176. And boom, we have our third diamond. All right, now we go to 13, which is across the way. The capacity of the place. Oh, we actually have another character here. His name is Maiden. Hello there. Hello yourself. Want any tips for this problem? Sure, what do you have? The windowed wall is included. Thanks for the help. So you do actually have to count the wall. So it's just like finding any other square. Up, cross, length, width, height. Come over. And the answer cubes, command blocks to this problem are actually right over here. We'll jump on up. It's going to be 252. 52. So we hit the button. And we have our fourth diamond. So we need one more at number 14, which is actually the chicken house. So we come on up. Here, we find the volume of the inside of here. We'll come on back just to visit the chickens real fast. Here's a couple. A lot of eggs. Walk on back. Come up top. And as you can see, we're back to dispensers. And our answer is 84. 84. So we hit the button. And we get our last diamond. So let's see if we can go make Carla's day. Jump in the button. Ooh, diamonds. What? Oh, yeah, the key. Here, just take it. I have some stuff to craft. So now we have the key to Hightley's room, back in the castle. So we'll head on back. Let her run back and forth to the castle. Open the door. So open. And we will open Hightley's room. Welcome to the final. Find the volume of the castle. So hit the lever. And that lever actually opens the sand block right over here. So now they can go in here, they can answer the question. Now students actually have to find the square part of the castle as well as each tower. And eventually the volume adds up to be 681. And they get a book. So they open the book and it says, turn around and go through the newly opened passageway right behind you. So you go around and this little door over here opens. And we find Hightley. Who are you? How did you get in here? My name is... Insert name. Are you, Are you Prince Hightley? Yes, I am. Bangheart banished me from Volume City. I knew that this was the only way back in, but the Volume Guardians didn't know how to open the door. I guess I have you to thank for that, don't I? It's not the first problem I solved today, so what happens now? 
You really are something. Well, you have done quite enough for Volume City. You have our eternal gratitude. We have nothing left to ask of you. You are free to leave and enter through this passageway at any time. Thank you, insert name. You truly are a math champion. Thank you, Prince Hightley. So now we walk through this long passageway to exit Volume City. And this is where students will pick up their rewards and also drop off all of their poppies. They get to collect all their diamonds. And you come out and it congratulates you. And that is Volume City in a nutshell. Thank you for watching and we hope you guys use this later in your classrooms. Have a nice day.